One morning in May 1886, John Pemberton came up with the idea of creating a refreshing tonic drink. And the first thing he did was to put on his robe, walk down the stairs, open his office drawer, and Google it to check if it had already been invented. Oh, right, yeah, there was no Google at the time. Then he thought that his new drink should have a unique color. So he went to his pantry to get some of those chemical colorings that didn't exist at the time I wrote them. Okay. But in that case, he used caramel, which did exist. Ah. Later on, he thought that if he was to reach everyone, he would need to use some chemical preservatives. He got on his carriage, played a Justin Bieber song, baby, baby, baby. and went to see the preservatives manufacturer outside town. Ah, yeah, preservatives didn't exist at the time. And no, it doesn't need any. Okay, carry on. Afterwards, John, with an unshakable spirit, went to the supermarket to buy the artificial flavorings. On his way, he was welcomed by a tribe of Sioux Indians. Who oh, kindly sent him to the port of Savannah to buy some of the best natural flavors of the world. When he came back home, he got to work. He mixed some water, dissolved the caramel, added natural flavors and bubbles. He tried it and immediately realized that he had invented a drink so tasty and refreshing that he even wanted to share his secret formula on Facebook. Oh, in 1886, there was no Facebook. I'm so sorry.